working yeah. with ears. So, um, my name... Hello, Beth. <laughs> Welcome to Beth, our interpreter today. Um, and I'd like to welcome all of you here to Arts Project Australia, if it's your first time. Don't make it your last time. And, uh, and uh, of course, there's some familiar faces here, as always, which is great. My name's Sue Roth. I'm the Executive Director at Arts Project. And it's my privilege... Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> my privilege to, um, to help run this amazing organisation, which has... So much happening. We are terribly, terribly busy, and that's great because that means that our artists are in demand, their work is in demand, and that they're doing fantastic things. I'd like to, this is a, a special exhibition. All our exhibitions are special, obviously. This one's special because um, it's the first exhibition here curated by Brad Rusbridge, who's Brad has quite a long history with the organisation. He's been installing our exhibitions for a number of years and he started working for us on a permanent part-time basis, I think, last year. Last uh, year? Yeah, yep. right. um, in the gallery technician role. And he's recently become a casual arts worker, so he is getting to know the organisation from top to bottom. And Brad came up with this idea to paint it black um, and uh, submitted it to our exhibitions committee last year and was successful. So this is Brad's first exhibition with us and it's, he, um, he's got some artists represented that we don't always see in our exhibitions, so that's terrific. I'm not going to bang on about the exhibition because I think Brad would like to talk to you a little bit about it. So here's Brad. Ooh. Um, it also seems appropriate to the opening this exhibition on what is only the second day of winter, um, as the <laughs> darkness and gloom descends on Melbourne for the next three months. Well, it's a pretty nice day, so I guess that's all ahead of us. Uh, just got some notes so I don't forget anything. Can't uh, help bring your own personal interpretations and meanings to the work and the curation of this show simply involves some of mine. Uh, I thought it would be interesting to do a show based around black as a metaphor for an absolute absence or an absolute presence, its ability to represent both nothing and everything at the same time. And I think some of this work, perhaps uh, Julian Martin's monochromes at the front and and Lele's monotypes uh, could be squeezed into those parameters. But when I began looking at the other artists' work, I didn't really know what I might find. And fun funnily enough, for a, a black show, um, what I found, found, as you can see by looking around, is actually quite a lot of work featuring colour. Um, and by looking at the work, I was surprised to be shown a whole spectrum of ways that we, as people, deal with dark times in ourselves and others. Through humour or humility, acceptance or denial, we are both attracted to darkness as well as repulsed by it. And I think all these things can be gleaned from the works here on display. Um, so I want to thank all the artists in this show for opening my eyes to the ways the concept of the show could be broader and, and better. Um, I also just want to thank uh, all my APA colleagues, both upstairs and down, and um, particularly for this show, Sim, Mal, uh, Penny, and Lynn. And um, I hope everyone enjoys it, and enjoys it as much as I did putting it together, so thanks. <laughs> It's always great to hear um, why someone selected works and, and how they put them together. I hope you all enjoy uh, looking at the show. Uh, most of the works are for sale, except for the ones with red dots on them, which means they're already sold. Um, we are going to be having, on I think it's the 15th of July, and it's yet to be all the details firmed up, a contemporary saxophone concert on a Saturday afternoon in and amongst this exhibition. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, 
Um, so we'll be letting you know about the details of that. It could be an interesting way to experience the exhibition as well. It's uh, an Australian saxophonist who's currently working in France and we'll be coming back in the next couple of weeks and we'll have more details for you then. In the meantime, thank you to everybody as usual for um, uh, your input into this particular exhibition and all the work we do. And big claps, big applause for our fantastic artists. Thanks for your